from reaching trail to the Great March, from the aging ocean to the endless sea, from Fisherman's Row to Godcroft's. Live from Studio A in Press Corps World Headquarters, this is Foxhole Flash, bringing you the latest news from across the Siva Valley War Zone. Morning, afternoon, or evening. For the Press Corps, I'm Jeffrey Jennings. Here in the 59th Conflict of the Foxhole War, it's day 247, rather than the evening of. Breaking news, Tempest Island, coming out of Tempest Island, the Rush, the central city, close to central city, in the peripheral region, has fallen. No word yet on a warden capture, but the Colonials have lost the Rush. That town being a veritable bulwark, lowercase b, using that as, a, as an adjective in this case, a bulwark against warden advance coming from the north, particularly from Alchemio Estate in the northwest and further north near uh, Lost Arkov. Not since day 78 of this war has the rush been lost by the Colonials, and for much of that time since day 78 to today, day 247, uh, the rush has been a, uh, has been a uh, strong uh, defensive position, a central position for any warden advance along the bridges, the myriad of bridges, one, two, three, four bridges that, uh, that uh, cross through the various islands. Colonials so far still hold on to Surge Gate in West Central Tempest. The Iris, uh, the apt named island city in the center of the region, as well as Liars Haven, a very uh, productive town full of, uh, full, full of all sorts of activity I can imagine, but in particular two factories, a refinery, and a seaport, as well as a dock and a safe house. That's going to be a, the next, the most likely, the next target past the Iris for wardens there. Uh, it has been reported that the wardens did land in uh, the northeast, uh, in the major land mass there in the center of Tempest, near Reef. The Reef has seen multiple uh, warden naval invasions, some smaller than others, some larger than others. Uh, most of them have been uh, met with swift colonial attack, swift colonial counterattack, even including battle tank movement all the way in Tempest. But it seems this time that the Wardens have managed to stick, uh, stick their landing, literally speaking, and move westward to take the town of Rush. We're just receiving word that, yes, the Wardens have successfully brought forward a construction vehicle and taking the town of Rush. Uh, still so early that they haven't taken the safe house yet, uh, but we can uh, confirm that the Wardens have taken the town, have taken the city. Uh, where they're going to next uh, is anyone's guess, either west towards Surjic or the Irish, uh, or the Iris, excuse me. Uh, but uh, plenty of action, I can imagine, is taking place in there. We currently do not have a reporter on the ground in Tempest Island, so we cannot confirm uh, what the wardens used, what assets and force multipliers were used by the by the Sevish troops uh, to take the town. Uh, neither can we confirm what the colonials used in defense of the town. Uh, but we do know that with any kind of naval invasion, particularly a successful one, and particularly one against a uh, heavily fortified uh, island that is Tempest, uh, it's going to take a lot of firepower or, and incredibly good timing in order to successfully land and uh, push forward and take any kind of town. Again, still no word yet on what assets were used, nor what uh, outfits were involved with the landing, but all we can confirm right now is that the rush has fallen to the advancing wardens who came by sea, and uh, plenty of action, I'm sure, still ongoing. We're going to go back to the music. We may uh, come back shortly with some kind of report, but for now, we can confirm that, yes, on day 200 and, excuse me, uh, day 247, the rush fell to uh, warden troops. And uh, now this leaves the entire eastern flank of the entire colonial line uh, open to advancing uh, warden forces. Elsewhere in the war, here in the 59th, Drowned Vale seeing plenty of action. Lock Moor, colonials managing to retake the relic bases at Moon's Copes and West March, although fighting continues there, light fighting 
in Varanic Coast, Colonials continued to hold on to the towns of Mara and Bone Haft, although Wardens did manage to take the neighboring towns of Ayuxta Homestead and Scythe. And in Orebreaker Isles, uh, the Wardens have managed to contain the Colonials at Kofteri Channel, at least for now, but Fisherman's Row, neighboring Fisherman's Row to the south appears safe. Combined casualties here in the 59th coming at 1.1 million dead. 1.1,165,000 1, to be closer to the exact number. Uh, rapidly approaching, the 59th rapidly approaching as the deadliest, deadliest uh, war we have seen in a long time. Uh, we'll have to compare that to War uh, 30, but we do know that War 19 holds the, uh, the, uh, the grim... Uh, award for deadliest conflict at 1.7 million combined dead. More possible updates coming out of Tempest Island, uh, possibly coming shortly, but for now, let's get back to the music. For the Press Corps, I'm Jeffrey Jennings. <laughs> 